Okay. 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 Huh? Oh yeah, it's lit. Peace a lot to all y'all Asiatics. Let me know if the words are synced up. I see when I kick it off, I see that they tweak it and they zap it. And the words be off a little bit. Is the words off or is they on right now? Because I see IG doing this shit. I see what they on, fam. They want to start tweaking with the feed. You know what I'm saying? I see what they on. Let me know if the words is off or is they on. Is this something, this something new? Nah, they, 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 they zap it. As soon as I start, they zap it. They zap it as soon as I start. It's on. Let me know if it's on. Is the words synced up? Because I see what they doing. They can't stop what's they can't stop what's going on, fam. Can't stop what's going on. It's on. Listen. On images. You know how powerful images is? Let me know if the words is synced up. Alright? Peace and love to all y'all Asiatics out there. All y'all Muslims out there. All y'all out there. All y'all out there. Fam. This is part eight. Lit. Images. Say goodbye to Kansas. Bye bye. Bye bye for Kansas. Bye bye to the U.S. corporation. Bye bye to these so called immigrants that's here. If you not in the definition as an American, then you not an American. You just squat in the Americas, fam. Say goodbye to Kansas. We finna take it there. You say the sound is off? Go go off and then come back on. Go log X out and then come back on. Let me know if the sound is off. Let me know if the sound is off. Because I see that they doing this shit on IG now. I see they doing that. Look. Yeah, X out and then come back in. And let me know if the sound is still off. All right, look. You know how powerful images is, man. This is how powerful images are. Look. When you see this image right here. When you see this image right here. What's the first thing you think about when you see this? When you see this image right here. What's the first thing you think about? Which, when you see this. What's the first thing you think about? You see... You see something in the background look like a moor. That is a moor. Then you see these European hybrids right here. What you think about? Images are powerful. Images are really before words. Images. When you see an image like this, what you think about? When you see something like this, what you think about? Huh? What you think about when you see this? What you think about when you see this? There's a diabolical plan that was put into effect to get us from thinking about ourselves as this to thinking about ourselves as slaves, as servants, as being brought over here. Like we not who we claim to be. Like we some kind of subclass people or something. Images, fam. We're going into that right now. Images. Look at this. Images. Now, notice something right here. Peep this. When you see these images like this, look how they dress from this time period to this time period. You see, it's a similarity with the, a similarity with the, the dress. See how it's a similarity with the dress? See, we talking about drip. Everybody love talking about they got their drip up. If you got your drip up, Go back in the day and look at your drip. These are the all my vid moors. It's good now? Bet. The all my vid moors of the, of the modern day Morocco. Look at the drip. Check her drip out. See her? Beautiful, right? Drip out. Check the drip. From the crown all the way down to the, to the, to the shoes that they got on. These are Seminole moors. Aboriginal to what is contemporarily referred to as Florida. In Moorish garb, the Seminole are fraudulently referred to as Indians. We ain't no damn Indians. 
This ain't India. Actually, the land over here ain't even called India. You go back a little bit, you see what the you see what it is. I feel yeah, it's not more. You see what it is, and you go back a little bit into the, the history maps. This ain't even India. This is Hindustan. And the people that's from here speak Hindu and all other kind of dialects because they Hindustanis from the north of Hindustan to the south of Hindustan, down there to Sri Lanka. They speak multiple dialects of Hindu. They don't speak Indian. <laughs> that's the first that's the first indicator that some shit is off. Images. Powerful. Watch this. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. You could you could say I am an omnivore when it comes to everything visual. I'm I'm taking it all in because I because I I, I think I recognize the I recognize the power that images wield and the impact they have on your ability to imagine yourself as an agent in the world. Pictures don't only express our desires, but they teach us how to desire in the first place. And that's the power of images at every level. For all of us, you know, as human beings who develop from an embryo to a to child to a toddler, it's like, well, we, we start out at that stage when words are incomprehensible to us. So our perception of our, our understanding of the, of the place we are and the people we are with and the world we are in comes from images. And those images shape our expectations about the, about almost everything. Jay Trap, peace more. Images shape our perception about everything. Images. This is why the pale face Europeans, they started to distort images to get the people's minds wrapped into a place they don't even need to be. They place themselves into a false image. Like fam said in the video, from a child, when you see images, you think about that and you think about that as your reality. Images. Look, from the book, The So-Called Negro Rulers of Scotland and the British Isles. The Power of Images. Keep in mind, an image like this. Imagine this image right here broadcast on every news channel. Do you know overnight this would completely destroy the Roman Catholic Church? If this was publicly shown on every news outlet, this would obliterate, literally destroy the image that these people were the first people as far as bringing in anything on the planet. This right here. Just imagine right now for a second. This picture right here. This picture. Just, just this one picture which speaks a thousand words. You're going to start asking a thousand questions. Why are these two people sitting on their knees worshiping what appears to be a Moorish, and a, Moor, a Moorish woman and a Moorish son? What are they doing? Why are they kneeling? Why is this in a room? Why do they got them candles up there? Why are they dressed like that? What is this? What does these images mean that's all inside this room? Hmm? Why is it sitting on the altar? Exactly. They do know the truth. Facts. They know the truth. Now, nah, let's go into it. Let's 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 let let let's let's build. Hold up. Let, let's build. Y'all ready to build? Let's build. Let's build. Oh, let's, let's build. Let's build. What did it say right here? It says what? All European museums show fake pale portraits of leaders. Turn me up. Turn me up, man. Turn me up. Let's go. It say fake leaders imitating the once Moorish rulers of Europe. See that? All European museums, they show fake pale portraits of leaders imitating the once Moorish rulers of Europe. Really the world. 
nearly every Moorish portrait of Europe's darker domineers have been whitened or overpainted to fabricate world history. <sighs> what? Every painting in European museums? Every painting? Every painting in European museums is a fabrication. It's a lie. Just to make it have the appearance, the image that they was actually ruling over us. Think about this. How strong images is, how powerful they are. If you all you know your whole life is a certain kind of way and you thinking that so-called Jesus, Yahushua, you thinking he's a pale face your whole life. You thinking that. Now you you get a little in your mind, you already got it in your head like, yeah, everybody sit, they 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 do this. Our people go to church, they bow down, and imagine when you go to church tomorrow, if you go to church tomorrow, you go in there and they got a black. They got a so-called black Jesus up there. They got a Moorish Yahushua on the wall when you go to church tomorrow. If you go to church, they got a Moorish Jesus Yahushua sitting up there on the wall. What is that going? What are, what are you going to start thinking about? You see that? See, it's the power of images. Images. Speak thousands of words without even somebody talking. You just see the image and then your mind start coming up with all these ideas about what you're seeing. You feel me? So if you go to so-called church tomorrow and you see an image like this hanging up there, first thing you're going to do is have a thousand questions. Like, why they ain't showing you this your whole life? You feel me? See? And this is what we going into. This is what we building on. Bing bong. And you say something like this. This truth is widely acknowledged throughout Europe, Asia, and some parts of Africa, but has not reached the shores and textbooks of the United States. Hold up. This, this truth is widely acknowledged throughout Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa, but it ain't reached the shores and textbooks of the United States? A nation that heavily frowns upon Moorish success. Frightened them with frightened with fear at the very thought of their own civilization deriving from the very people they are continuously persecuting. Huh? We was the ones. We the ones that's been ruling the land, man. We the ones that was on horses, building castles, building ships, agriculture. We the ones that was building all this stuff up, man. Huh? It was not these people. No. <laughs> these people was not the people doing that. We going crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, you might say like, well, well what is that going to do for us now? Well, what, what is us knowing an image? What is that going to do for us now? It's a good question. What is it going to do for you now? Your self-esteem, number one, your value for your self-esteem will increase dramatically. How you think about everything now be like, I want to dive more into my history. Because now you at a place now where you like, we ain't come from bending on bending the knee. We didn't bend the knee. We was the ones telling others to bend the knee, not us. So number one, numero uno, your self-esteem is going to jump to the moon, to Mars, to Pluto. Because now you the one going to be like, fam, my ancestors was dripped in gold. My ancestors was dripped up in jewels. My ancestors had crowns on their heads. My ancestors ain't, come, ancestors ain't come over here as no damn slaves. Your self-esteem going to increase. Your, your self-worth is going to increase. Your, first of all, your identity is going to be verified. Bing bong. Once you know your identity, the rest just follows. It flows. Once you know your identity and you see that you didn't come over here bending no knee and no chains. All y'all out there that got locks in y'all here. Right. 
This is an image, a portrait of Mayan women with ceremonial attire on. Each female has fully extended hair, misnomered dreadlocks. This hairstyle is a traditional, is traditional, is a traditional style from Kemet, Egypt, Ayati, Jamaica, ETC, and clearly so-called South, North, Central America. Clearly, these are the mother of civilization of African descent. So all y'all out there that wear locks, these are Mayan women written on the walls, carved on pyramids, outside everywhere. But they keep it locked up, though. So if you got locks out there, you should be repping your locks. Don't call them dreadlocks, though. Don't call them dreadlocks. Why? Because hybrid Europeans dreaded us wearing our locks. That's why they call them dreadlocks. They are locks. They're actually antennas connecting us with a frequency to the universe, energy to the universe, vibration to the universe. You should be proud of wearing your natural hair. Take that goddamn weave out your head sometime. You should be proud to rep your... I'm talking to you women out there. And you got dudes out there wearing weave now. This shit is wild as hell. You got dudes that's gluing head units to their head. <laughs> you got dudes out here gluing shit to their head now. Wild as hell. Hey, man. Do what you do. But whole time... Get, get familiar with your natural locks, fam. If you're going to rock natural hair, you should be proud of your natural hair. You really should be proud of your natural hair. Because we proud of who we is everywhere else. We super proud of who we are all around the world. There it is again. You got feathers. If y'all like to wear bandanas, we been wearing bandanas. This is your history. This is your culture. This is our culture. Look, so-called South, uh, this, this is a map of a so-called South American depicting the Aboriginal people, clearly African people who are also called Native American. We're not Native Americans. We're Moors. You got lions, you got jaguars. South America with a feather in his head and he got a red, look like a red band on his head. You see how strong images are? This is why we got to dive into history so we can see our culture. We can see how we was dripped up through our, through our history. Look, here go another Mayan image where we depicted ourselves on vase artifacts. The chief is gazing into a mirror. Undeniably, we are able to identify that we are Africans who are also the Aboriginal people of so-called America. Look, we been on this, man. They wearing that hairstyle right now. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Nothing. Shout out to all my body kins out there. All my Tainos out there. He looking in the mirror and you see him. You see, do you see pale, fa pale face people? No, you see copper complexion. This is what you see. This, this, this is what you see. Here's another image. This is what you see. Huh? See, images are powerful. This is why strong images are. Because you can only be what you know. And all they've been showing us on TV and in the in the in the movies, they've been showing us bending the knee, coming over here as slaves. But in reality, whole time we was the ones calling out shots. We was the ones laying laws down. We was the ones dripped up. We got a crocodile right here. Who you know sitting with a crocodile but us? They be out there in Florida. They be out there in Florida. I seen, man, I done seen videos of our people out there in Florida and whatnot. They out there really like with crocodiles. Like, this what they do type. Who else you know doing that like that? We was the ones doing that like that. We still doing what we was doing. Look, this is in the New York Public Library. This right here. New York Public Library. Images. See, once you know your identity, because you're looking at the right images of our people, 
Now you start having value on our people, not just, man, we was over here slaves. We got colonized by European hybrids. Nah, 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 nah. Feathers, bandanas again. Hear that? Copper complexion, tawny complexion. It's hard for many to imagine that the so-called Negro African figure being venerated as a god among the Amer so-called American Indians. He has also been represented as the lowest of the low, at least since the era of conquest and slavery. His humiliation as a world figure begins, in fact, with the coming of Columbus. It was in the very decade of his quote unquote discoveries that so-called black and white Moors were laid low. See that? See the images? We'll see what Dr. Ivan Van Sertima said. He said the image of the so-called Negro has not changed. They remain victims of the myth created and sustained for a half a millennium while appearing to strive manfully to dispel to dispel it. We got to get caught. We got to stop being caught up with false images and start looking at images like these people is bending the knee to us. You see it. They bending the knee to us, not the other way around. They not, we not bending our knee the other way around. We ain't doing that. Hold up. We ain't doing that. Hold up. We ain't doing that. Let's go right here. We ain't bending our knees. They bending their knees to us. We ain't bending our knees now. So how come the, the pastor, Pastor Pork Shop, and Reverend Reverend Cheeseburger, how come they ain't out here showing these images off in the church? It seemed like they working for the ops. They working for the other side. Sound like the pastor, he got some questions you need to start throwing at the pastor. So the pastors and the reverends and the deacons, you got to start asking these reverends and these deacons and these pastors some questions. Hey, man, why is the pope on the knee? Two popes bending the knee. Why are they on knees for? And why are they sitting down worshiping us? They bent the knee. We ain't bent our knees. You see why images is powerful. Skrilla, what up? Why? See how images is powerful? Images is powerful, man. So start asking these pastors, put pressure on them, man. Don't let them slide no more. Why are two popes taking the knee to the Moorish, to Moorish, to the Moorish, to the Moor by woman and the Moor son? You see it right here, live, live in your face. Live. And you say this. Look at this. Hold up. Images, right? So, you know, they love bringing up Marcus Garvey. They love saying Marcus Garvey was a black man. Yeah. You said Marcus Garvey was a... This is what they say. They say Marcus Garvey was a so-called black man, right? This is what they say. He was, huh? Let's, let's look at a book that was written about Marcus Garvey. All right? They love bringing up Marcus Garvey. Yeah, the, the red, black, and the green. We got to go with the pro-black. Just want to show y'all something in real time, though. This is Marcus Garvey. This is his own words. The one that say they, that he pro-black and he a Garveyite. Look at this. Marcus Garvey said, nationhood. Nationhood is the only means by which modern civilization can completely protect itself. Marcus Garvey was talking about nationhood? Nah, 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 nah. Marcus Garvey wasn't talking about nationhood. Yeah, he was talking about nationhood, fam. He was talking about nationhood. He wasn't talking about no pro-black nothing. Marcus Garvey, red, black, and green, was talking about nationhood. There it is. You looking at it. There it is. Right there. He said, nationhood is the only means by which modern civilization can completely protect itself. What? Independence of nationality 
What? Independence of government is the means of protecting not only the individual, but the group. Nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, you, you trying to tell me that Marcus Garvey was out here talking about nationhood? Nah, they'll be like, I don't believe that, I don't believe that, you don't, you don't, you don't believe it? Can you, can you hear that? Can you, can you hear that? Cause Jay out here talking some shit now. Can, 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 hold up, can, can you hear that? Hold up. Can you, can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? You can hear that, right? You can hear that? Yeah, out here talking some shit too. I don't know if y'all paying attention. You hear that, right? Marcus Garvey? Encore? Marcus Garvey? Marcus Garvey said, what? Marcus Garvey said, nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. <sighs> wow. I'm talking about the same guy. They talking about, he's a Garveyite. He was with the pro-black movement. Where, Sway? How, Sway? This is his own philosophies and opinions. So in his own words, he out here talking about nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples, independence of nationality, independence of government. What are you talking about? You see images. They'll put these images out, but they don't tell the whole. They don't show all the images. This is why it's so important for us to have our own media. You see our own press. See, when you got your own media, your own press. You could put it out there like Marcus Garvey and then you could show what Marcus Garvey was talking about in real time. You feel me? You could show what he was talking about. And Noble Drew Ali went to go scoop up Marcus Garvey. Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, we need yeah, we need correction, but he on the right path for love. You see you tell. Nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. Who who said that? Ah. Oh, Marcus Garvey. He said that, but you still thinking he was pro-black. Yeah, he was, he was pro-black. Images, images. Here's another image. Wait a minute. Huh. Here's another image. Where you at? Uh, core. here's another image. Here you go. We need to start seeing images of us how we really is. So we can really know who we really is. Not was, was and is, and always will be. See that right there? You got two posts bending the knee. What they doing? Huh? Six candles up there. What what them candles represent? Huh? Could it be higher self and lower self? Huh? Huh? Who's that right there? Hmm. And hey, who's that? They're not black. They're, they're not black, but you want to see some images? Look at these images. This is the so-called church talking about inbreeding with the hybrid Europeans, the Catholic church. Huh? Do they look like pale-faced people? No, no, no. No, they're Moors. They're, they're Moors. You want to keep going? This is Henry II. He was a Moorish emperor, emperor of Europe. Images, they tell you thousands of words. Images speak a thousand words, don't they? Huh? Huh? He's not a black man. He's a Moor. Moor, the word, listen, the word black only goes back 700 years. It only go back to the 1100s. Talking about black. Look, they, they need, you. oh, you need, you need, you need some more. Hold up. So you need some more? All right. No problem. You need you need you need some more? All right. Let's go right here. Let's go right here, fam. You you need some more, huh? I heard about him. All right. You need you need some more. All right. You need some more from the book. 
from the book, so-called black rulers, military leaders, clergy, and Moors who saved medieval Europe. You need some more, huh? You need some more, huh? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, St. Martin de Pors, servants of sick, needy children. St. Martin de Pors. There he is. Huh? Do a little research on who St. Martin de Pors was. Huh? Do, do a little history on him. You see, images. St. Benedict the African, savior of the faithful. There he is. Look real similar to these images right here, though, right? Huh? You see, when pale faced Europeans, once they got in a position where they could start rearranging history, you see what they did right here. It says the so called white complexion, the pale complexion of today's English royal family, including other European royalties, came about as their once darker ancestors gradually intermix with pale populations a crucial move to to what in order to maintain the moorish sovereignty which existed from prehistoric times all european museums show fake pale face portraits of leaders all museums you said he's avoiding my comment like always though you're too logical and simple. What's your comment? I'm going to put you straight out there. What's your comment? You. Matter of fact, you could push the button right there. Push that button right there. You push that button right there. You who just wrote that. You. Push that button right there. That's all you got to do. Push that button right there. It's right It's right there. Push that button. Push that button right there. That's all you got to do. Push that button right there. Push that button. I don't know voice shit. Push that button right there. That's all you gotta do. Push the button. It's right there. It's, it's right there. I'm talking about a void. Fuck is you talking about? Push the button right there. That's all you gotta do. Push that button. Are you scared? You scared? I'm talking about a void. Where you at? Where you at? Now, what you say now? I'm right here. What you say now? I want to clear up some confusion that's been said, that's been going around. This you want to clear up? Hold up. You this, said you want to clear up some confusion about what? That you've been spreading. Confusion that I've been of, spreading. Right. Let's keep it simple, right? Let's just stick with the basics of Moorish history, right? Law. What's your nationality? Moroccan, right? Mar the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Stop right there. Stop the right, right there. What did Noble Drawley Have you read have you read the one on ones from Noble Drawley? I read those in the trees. Okay. Which is supreme law. So we still what did Noble Drawley say in the one on ones? We are Moroccans, just like the treaty said we are Moroccans. No sir. No sir. The treaty between peace and no, freedom sir. between Moroccans and what America. did Noble Drawley say in the one on ones? You should know this. Born in America. You said who? You're Moroccans. Uh huh. So I said, and what else? He's Moroccan. Right. What else? Just said no to that. I'm just saying. No. That. What else did he say? Moroccan. Okay. I'm just Moroccan saying. and what else? <laughs> let me show you. Since you let me show you because the first time I asked you, I just the just, first time I asked you, what question. did you say? I'm you said you're a Moroccan. I'm answering your question, right? Hold up. Hold up. Nah, you had a chance to answer the question. I'm, you I'm just said it. I'm finished. You already you. Fam, no, listen. No, you cut me the off. first I'm thing you said was, well, I said, "What's your nationality?" You said okay, Moroccan. Moroccan, and you said, what "That's is, not what, what the prophet said." Say? We are Moroccans. Now, let me so you trying to tell me that you going against the prophet Noble Jolly? Because he said, "Why are we Moorish Americans?" He says, "Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America." When okay, I so asked you, when I asked you, when I asked you, "What's your nationality?" You said Moroccan. That's completely in violation of what the prophet wrote in the one on ones. Okay, so blank, you blank, period. the kingdom of Morocco, what's their name? Blank, blank period. What are you talking about? I asked you what your nationality was. You said Moroccan. Okay. So, so right there, period. you're in violation. If I'm a descendant of Moroccan, how does that not make me a Moroccan? Because you're in Morocco. 
Okay. So exactly. you trying to tell? Hold up. Well, hold up. When I asked you what your nationality was, you said something other than what the Prophet Noble Jawali explained in the one on one. You're saying other than what the treaties are saying is no. what I'm saying. So you're no going to give Noble Jawali in any dictionary will you find Moorish American? So you trying to tell me you're going against Noble Jawali? You're going against treaties. You're you're no. trying, you're trying no, to no, say no, Noble no, Jawali's no. word. How am I going against treaties when treaty is right here? What are you talking about? No, you're you going against the what the Prophet wrote. You just read from the one on ones. That's not the treaty. Who wrote the one on ones? Who wrote the treaty? Who wrote the one on ones? Hold up. Hold up. Who wrote the one on ones? Higher than treaties right now. Who wrote the one on ones? Who wrote the one on ones? Okay, look, let's tell me since that's no, 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 no. Who wrote the one on ones? Who? Noble Ali, who wrote it? You said Noble Ali, right? Who Okay, so Noble Ali is the prophet, correct? Okay. I'm asking you. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, so you're going against what the prophet wrote in his own literature. Okay, so you're going. No, to answer the, the question. No, answer the question. <laughs> what, what came before Noble Ali? The treaty. Supreme answer Law. the question. You're going against. You no, say you're more. You, you say you're Moroccan. Hold up. You, you, you said you're a Moroccan, you right? Think. You said you're a Moroccan. I asked you what your Moroccan, nationality was. You said right? you're Moroccan. This so you're you automatically in violation. You so you're automatically in violation of this right here. So if you're you in violation of the one on ones, how are you not Moroccan? You're in violation of the one on ones. Nice. So I don't avoid nothing. You're, you're in violation of what the prophet treaty. wrote. What, what, okay, let's talk about the treaty now. No, we're talking, we're about, talking about this right here. You said your nationality. Well, why don't that's you want to hop on a treaty? That's the first question of law. Your status. That's not law. Your that's status is already I'm dead. I'm trying to get to the law. You're talking no, about one you're not. You're already on the law. That's not because wrong. I asked you what your nationality was. That is not wrong. what is your nationality? No, what you said, said we're Moorish American. You're saying you said you're, you're, are you're saying in violation. Of, okay, are you saying these you're in violation? Of, okay, that's you're right. in okay. violation. Okay. Point blank, period. Let's get to the next point, then. no, the it's next not point. no next period because your status is not even declared. You're saying that's law, it, it's not law. So, you're saying so these this is, not law? Ones is higher than the treaties for one. So, is hold that up, what you're saying. Hold up. You said no, no. You said hold up. This say this you before. said that Noble Drew Ali. You said you Noble Drew Ali is the prophet, but you're going against the prophet. No, no, no. Now you're trying to bring up a different point. Where does this say? No, this it's Don't not a different that. point. You I, said I Noble Drew Ali is the I, prophet. No, I asked no, no. you. I'm not going to answer. Why can't you just? What do you mean you're not going to answer? I'm literally answering your question. What you mean you're not going to answer? Not you, to damn, answer. you don't even make sense. I asked you what you your nationality was. You said you're a Moroccan. So Moroccan is not a nationality? Mo do you live in Morocco over there? The or do you live Empire? here? Is this the Moroccan Empire? So how are you saying Morocco? So I'm, I'm asking you, is this the Moroccan Empire? I'm asking you, have you read the one-on-ones? Okay, that's a new question, yes. but I'm That's asking, not a new question. I asked you Empire? the first time. What you, okay, what yes, you, I did. I you on? several times. Is this the Moroccan Empire? Can you answer that one for me? This is the Moroccan Empire. Okay, so exactly. You're in violation so of what Noble Jawali wrote. How am I not Moroccan in the Moroccan Empire? You said what? How am I not Moroccan in the Moroccan Empire? How is that confusing? Because we're Moroccan, and right here, the okay, prophet so tells we, you. We are Moroccan. The prophet Moroccan tells Moroccan. you we are descendants of Moroccans and born in Moroccan. America. This is so, so. Why are you? you going hold up, me hold up. I, I let you get on here, you and this all you got. I let you get on here. You said this all you got. Because you literally it's, disagree it's, with me. After I'm not agreeing with I'm Moroccan. Listen, you said, Whoa, you're going you don't even have your nationality straight. You don't have your nationality straight. So how are you gonna tell me? Man, I'm you're not wasting Moroccan, time. I let you get on here, but you're wasting time. You literally disagree with me. Say we are Moroccan. Okay. We're Moroccan descendants and born in America. That's the words of the prophet. Okay, you're so in violation. We, we are Moroccan, right? You we're a Moroccan right? descendants and okay, born so in so America. We are Moroccan, right? We're Moroccan. Listen, I, I'm not okay, gonna so waste time. You gotta go read the are one on one yourself. Okay, are we Moroccan? You got to read the one-on-ones yourself, man. Okay, they right here. Understandable. I, I see that, but I'm going to hear from you. But that are wasn't your Moroccan? answer, though. That wasn't your answer. Your okay, answer what, was, I'm going to ask you what your nationality was. Your you said you're question. Moroccan. That's not what the prophet wrote. The, the question, I don't see why I just can't. Are, are we Moroccan? That's what the prophet wrote. What are you talking about? You're in violation of this. You're talking faster than what you actually think. No, I'm talking and you can't keep up. You I'm can't Moroccan. keep up. My, my, me calling myself Moroccan, I'm going against what the prophet said. Two minutes later, you said we are Moroccan. 
We are Moroccan descendants and born in America. You okay, can't keep so, up with that. Okay, so are you Moroccan? We are Moroccan descendants and born in America. Okay, you can't so get that, that in your head. I don't know what to do. You wasting time. So, so okay, now, so when, I, when I say I'm wasting Moroccan, time, you say we are Moroccan. That's you're wasting time. time. You're wasting time. This is what okay, you so have to talk about the treaties then. No, we ain't going to pass no status. You think that's your status ain't even declared yet? We ain't going to pass nothing. Your status ain't even declared. You don't fix status based off your status ain't even declared. We're Please. descendants of Moroccans Please. and born in America. What are you talking okay, about? So who is the American? Your status ain't colonies. even declared. The thirteen your status colonies is or the colonies, but you're calling yourself your the stat Asian American. Listen, listen. You talking faster than you think. Your status <laughs> is not declared because I asked you what your nationality was. You said you're Moroccan. Just but like the how you see, right? Ali, Hold up. According to the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, which was short and simple to the point, in the 101, that's why I asked you first before I read it, have you read it? You said, yeah. But you're in violation of what them, that literature says. So what are you talking so that's about? that's the case, we both are because you said we are Moroccan. It's not, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> you just really agree said we are Moroccan. I'm going by so what the Prophet said. But I'm no. going against it. You are going against the literature. All you asked me was, like, are we like Moroccans and born in America? Just, I said yes. Yeah. And then you said, is this the Moroccan Empire? Of course yeah, it's right. the empire. Okay, what are you so talking how, about? How, That's how not, am I not Moroccan? Because you saying that you're a Moroccan of the nationality. I'm saying I'm Moroccan going against you the said, Moroccan. You said, listen, man, you're Moroccan wasting empire. time. You're wasting time. This is what you had to say. Let's talk about the treaty. This is no, it's no Let's, fast I none of that. Your status ain't even declared. That's what y'all y'all. Your status. Listen, that's why I call work that was listen, now, listen, slow down. The you get emotional. Slow down. No, this is why I call. I don't want to talk. Slow down. You get emotional. This is why it's called one hundred ones. You get no, emotional. That, yeah, that's why that's called one hundred ones. I'm talking slow, about the law. Slow down. That's See, for children. You're getting emotional. Slow down. Okay, let's slow That's down. That's why let's I know Drew Ali wrote it as 101s. Okay, I want to talk about you the don't know the 101s. Why are you trying to fast forward and go to something else? No, it's your not nationality, fast forward. Treaties came your before nationality is not even declared. Treaties came before Noble Drew Ali. I want to talk about something that came we before. Talking, we ain't going past your status. Period. You're not here. Your status you're not ain't talking declared. status unless you're talking treaties. You ain't got a nationality. Ain't status. You ain't got a. What's your nationality? You said Moroccan. One hundred ones is not going to change. You said Moroccan. Status. Hold on. That's so you, you said mean. I asked you. What listen, I asked you. I asked you, I asked you no, who the prophet treaties. was. I asked what you who the prophet what does was. The United right? Nations you. Listen, I asked you who the prophet was. You said Noble Drew Ali, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you studied what the prophet was talking about, right? Yes. Okay. Is he the last redeemer? Did he come to uplift humanity last? Okay, yes. What you mean? Okay, yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? I'm you trying sound to like you just like you shrugged it off. Of personal opinion. I'm trying to get to the this the is not law. an opinion. This is what it is. Okay, I'm just is trying he to the last supreme redeemer? law. I, that's what I want to get to supreme law. The unwavering how you gonna law. how you gonna build deal with law when you ain't got a nationality? You're not even a part of law. You're not talking about the law. You're talking about one hundred one. I'm right talking now. about your status. Do you know what status okay, is? So you got to talk about law. Do you know what your not status is? Do you know what your status is? Prophet Noble Drilly or What's your status? Not Supreme Law of the Land. What's your status? I'm telling you for the same time. What's your status? My status is that of protected by a state government, which gives you nationality. What's my nationality? Morocco. <laughs> what? You said the state government gives you a nationality. The American government gives Americans their nationality, right? The state government no, gives them their no, nationality. No. So when they become a part of the Your nationality comes from your mother. Simple that. Your okay. nationality comes from your mother. You, trying to get away from you said the state. hold up. You said the state <laughs> government gives you nationality. So when I somebody become you. American, when they become a part of American government, they're not. Hey American man, person. hey, listen, I'm gonna holler at you because you're not that making no state sense. government. Not you just said the state government gives you a nationality. So if somebody get, becomes a part of the American government, <laughs> are they not American all of a sudden? Yo, state gov. What's the state government? What's Any the state, state government that you want to talk about around the world? If somebody comes a part of a German government, they're now seen as a German. They granted nationality. It's that simple. No one can so listen. Man, talking about? Listen, no one can grant you a nationality. The but state your mother. government. It's not a one no. person granting you a nationality. Listen, man. State government listen, are you validates that they're American hey, because they're you American okay? government or German Are you all right? Government. Are you all right? Are are you are you, you saying? I that asked if you. Somebody I asked you. A part of I a asked you in the beginning. 
I asked you in the beginning, you said the state government. First, I asked you right. what your Many nationality state governments. First, I asked you what your nationality was, correct? Right. You said Moroccan. Right. Which is a violation. Not a part of the American government. Listen, which is a violation of what Noble Drawley wrote. Then you just tell me now, you said the state government gives you a nationality. You stuck on You're incorrect. Votes. You're incorrect. Then you brought up treaty law. So, how so, can you so, be a part so, of so, treaty well, law? Well, let's, let's, let's stick with no, how incorrect. Listen. Hold on. Let's stick with how I'm incorrect. Log let's off. just prove yourself right. Log, log let's, off. Let's just prove log, you log right. Off, you can go ahead and kick me off, but you log have a basic part. No, kick yourself off because you're not making sense. You're so wasting time. let me time. ask you a question. So let me ask no, you a question. No, you're wasting time. Why, why don't you just want to ask a question? You're wasting time. Why don't you log just want to ask a question? Fam, log off. Let me tell you something. Let me ask let me get you out of here because you're not making no sense. Fam, you just said, and I'm being as courteous as possible. You just said, Noble Draw Lee is the prophet. But then you say something else that contradicts the prophet Noble Draw Lee by saying, you're a, the, the state government, this gives you a nationality. Where in the prophet Noble Draw Lee's literature do you find that answer at, that you came up with? The state government. <laughs> hey, man, and this is why it'd be a lot of confusion out here. This is why so much confusion. The state government. I asked you what your nationality was. Proper Noble Joy Lee says it clear right here. This is why I said say goodbye to Kansas. Noble Joy Lee says, what is your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. And then if you want, hold up. And then if you want to go further, all you got to do is pull this up right here. This is why it's called reading. Reading. If you go to the one-on-ones, all you got to do is go to the literature. I don't have to argue with you. You go to the literature, and you see right here. All you got to do is go to the literature. It's right here. See this now? Do you see this? What are you talking about? According to, hold up. Let's go right here. Do you see this? Their dominion and habitation extended from Northeast and Southwest Africa across the great Atlantis, even until the present North, South, Central America, and also Mexico, and Atlantis Islands, before the great earthquake, which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. So when you said, when Noble Drew Ali wrote the present North, South, and Central America, and also Mexico, and the Atlantis Islands, what do you get from that? Present means right now present north central south and all the islands and mexico and atlantis so when i asked dude what his nationality was and he said he's moroccan then you said the state government <laughs> the state government grants you a nationality what are you talking about man what are you talking about? Where you see any literature? Noble Joe Ali said, yeah, the state government, the state government grants you a nationality. What are you talking about? <clears throat> you make no sense. This is why we're talking about images. See? Images. Isn't it? Hold up. Is it in, law, in a law book? Is it, in, is it in a law book? Is it in a law book? Let's go to a law book. Hold up. Let's go. Hold up. See, you want, you want, yeah, you want to take it there. Yeah. Let's go to a law book. 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 What is the definition? What is the definition of nationality? What's this definition of nationality? You say, what? That quality or character which arises from the fact of a person's belonging to a nation or state. Nationality determines the political status 
We're not talking about status of the individual. One noble Ali talking about status. One he talking about status, especially with reference to allegiance, while domicile determines his civil status. Where in the prophet's literature do you see anything about where well, you said the state government grants you a nationality? It's not in there. It's not in there. Then you, then you look up this word right here. Ignorance. The want or absence of knowledge. Ignorance. But cognitive dissonance are how you thinking what you're saying and you're out loud is really what it is. It's ignorant, though, because it's ignorance of law. It's the want of knowledge or acquaintance with the laws of the land. In so far that they apply to the act, relation, duty, or matter under consideration. Under consideration. And you know as well, I let you get on here, ask you questions, and the first couple questions I asked you, you dropped the ball. Total violation. But you still on here though. So if I'm not talking about nothing, why are you here? How come what you're saying don't align with the one-on-ones written by the prophet, but you claim that the prophet, Noble Drew Ali, is your prophet? <laughs> yeah. So if the prophet, Noble Drew Ali, is your prophet, then how are you going against somebody who you say is your prophet? It's each one teach one. But some people, like, like dude, you could tell. You talking about Sweden and Switzerland. You in the Americas, but you talking about Sweden. What are you, you talking about Germany? What are you talking about? Nationality comes from your mother. Our mothers give us the nationality by blood and birthright. Images. This is why we have to do what with the images? This is why we have to do what with the images? We have to uplift the woman our Moorish women, because she is the great cosmic mother, because she brings forth humanity, because she is the life portal. This is why Noble Drew Ali is lifting LALA Islam. Noble Drew Ali is lifting the woman out of the cares of the world, because she cares so much, she could get pulled down and drowned in the cares of the world. So Noble Drew Ali, the prophet, Lifting her out of the cares of the world because she's drowning to the solid rock foundation of salvation, which is love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Bing bong. Appreciate all y'all tuning in, man. This is what this this is what it is, though. It's each one teach one. So you saying that someone else can give you a nationality. That's what dude on here was talking about. The state government. What are you talking about? The people are the government. What law books do you be reading? Do you be reading law books? That's why I said, all you got to do, you ain't got to argue with these people. Shout out to Boston. You go straight to the one-on-ones. If they don't coincide and line up with the one-on-ones written by somebody that they say that they follow as a prophet, it's automatic. You suspect. You suspect. Because you, you don't line up. What state government are you talking about? What, what state government? Where, what treaty is that in? Show me a treaty where it says you get your nationality from a state government. And this is why it is what it is. I'm going to let the Moors that studied up just cook you. They're going to just fry you. Inside the chat. I ain't even gonna kick you out of here. I'm gonna let the moors in here just fry you. I'm gonna let them just bake you up in here. I'm saying I'm just gonna let them burn you in here. That's what I'm finna do. I'm just gonna let you stay in here and get fried. That's what I'm finna do. I'm gonna let you stay in here and get fried. You here, so I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the, the studied up moors just cook you in here. Just gonna let them do that. Just have fun. <laughs> Just have fun. Or that thing. So look. Images. 
images. Shout out to the shout out to the more Rico Hondo. Rico Hondo. Hey, listen, if you don't know who Rico Hondo is, get familiar, fam. Moore got some shades. We got to support more. Moore's got to start supporting Moore's. So shout out to bro, Rico Hondo. Moore's support Moore's, man. Get you some shades. Check his page out. Rico Hondo. Peace, Moore. And you say, you talking about drip. Check the drip out. Check the drip out. Yeah, y'all go in and have fun with dude. Y'all go in and have fun with buddy over there. Go in and cook him. How are you going to be a part of a treaty when your status is not even correct yourself? You're in violation of law. You're, you're in violation of law. Hey, look. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. So you go right here, and you say this. When they talk about images, look, like these images right here. See these images right here? You don't see no pale people on these images right here. No, 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 no. You don't see that on here. You don't see that on here. Look at these images. See these images right here? See these images? They trying to lighten the images up, but they still olive complexion, copper complexion, tawny complexion. Uh, uh, and then, old oh, time, let's go right here. Let's go right here. Let's go back right there. Let's go. Let's go right. Let's go right there. Let's go right there. Look. Show me black. Show me black on the planet. Yes, sir. Show me black. Everybody else, they fucking they, they European, they Australian, they Chinese, they Japanese. Show me black on the planet. We marginalize. What? Show me black. Show me black on the planet. Show me black. Everybody else, they fucking they, they European, they Australian, they Chinese, they Japanese. Show me black on the planet. We marginalize as entertainers. I already seen the other side, nigga. I seen the factories. Ah. Uh, Have you ever wondered why cats? Ah. Uh, what? What he say? Attacks with such. What? What? Hold on. What you, hold on. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back to that. Go back. Ah, I want to go back to that, G. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Show me black. Show me black on the planet. Show me black on the planet. Show me black. Everybody else, they fucking make, they European, they Australian. They Chinese, they Japanese. Show me black on the planet. We marginalize as entertainers. I already seen the other side, nigga. I seen the factories. I went up to head to head with these niggas, man. And I'm still alive. And I'm live for this moment to say this to y'all. As far as the niggas. See that? You care? See that right there? See? And that's what time it is right now. There's the, the gray shift is happening right now. The images, the fake images, they being destroyed right now. All them fake ass images of our people coming over here on slave boats, all our people in chains, all them images is being destroyed. They all being destroyed. Huh? And why are they being destroyed? Because it's time right now. It's time right now. This is why the prophet Noble Jolly said what he said. He said, name number 85. Moorish questions for Moorish Americans, 101s and 102s. 85. Name some of the marks that were put upon the Moors of Northwest by the European nations in 1774. Negro, black, colored, and Ethiopia. You know right there? Yeah. And this is how this is how crazy 
and you see the sellouts. You see the sellouts. Look at this. Look at look at this. This is how you know they don't be reading. <laughs> this how this how you know they don't be reading. Man. This how you know they don't be reading. They don't read the circle seven at all. You can tell they don't read the circle seven. Cause when anybody talk goofy shit, and all you gotta do is say, "Have you read the circle seven? Prepared by the prophet Noble Jolie. Have you have you read that? Have have you have you read that? Because if you read that, if you read that, why are you talking trash about America when America is Morocco, goofball? How you talking trash about America and America is Al Maghrib Al Aska? Hold up. You need a book reference. You need a book reference. <laughs> See, I love this shit. I love this shit. Yeah, yeah, you from the rack. Y'all already know we from the rack. See, I love this shit. Y'all already know we from the rack. Look. See, I love this shit. Look at this. This book, he was on here talking about, he on here talking about European Albions, right? So check this out. Images, images. The European hybrid. How come the European hybrid on here talking about this right here, directly lining up to what the property was talking about? Look at this. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, right here. Yeah, keep these images in mind, though. Keep them in mind. Keep them in mind. Let's go. Keep them in mind. Keep these images in mind. Look at this. Look at this. There is now, however, a much bigger issue at stake. That is the destruction of the Moorish nation. Watch this. Which is known as what? Societis Republica I.L. Moricanos, which translates as the Al Moroccan Republic Society. At the time of the founding of this country, America was called Al Moroccan. Huh? What you? What do you see? You need to. You need to go back in the lab. Stop typing so much. You need to listen. You need to stop typing and you need to listen. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do because this right here was written by a pale skinned European genius. Peter Moon. What? What you saying? Because the founding of this nation, it translates to what? The Al Moroccan Republic Society. Genius. At the time of the founding of what? This country? America was called Al Moroccan because it was a part of the Moroccan Empire known as a Mexum. Goofball. That's why I said, fall back. Stop typing so much. That's why I said, I'm going to leave you on here and let the Moors who studied up bake you up in here, cook you up in here, roast you up in here. Huh? I'm going to leave you up in here. I'm going to leave you up in here to get obliterated, destroyed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you in here and laugh at your goof ass. So what are you talking about? Our Moroccan was a part of the Moroccan empire? Hold up. Didn't he say earlier, you agree with me, but then you don't agree with me? This I know, this I know that you don't be studying like that. This how I know. Because if you said you're a Moroccan, but you live in America, but then you say, when I asked you what your nationality was, you say you're a Moroccan. Completely in violation of what the one-on-one say, goofball. And then you in violation right here because you got a hybrid European. He telling you the history, which is our Moroccan, because it was a part of the, uh, the Moroccan Empire known as a Mexum. It was transliterated into America by the colonists. And eventually a story was made up that America was named after Amerigo Vespucci. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? This is why I said cooked, destroyed, baked, annihilated. You said, you said the state government gives me a nationality. 
looking ass. What are you talking about, man? Can't nobody give you a nationality but your mama. Genius. That's why the prophet Noble Drali lifted the Moorish woman out of the cares of the world, the water. Man, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Y'all just go ahead and cremate dude up in here. Go ahead and cremate dude in here. He want to be here, cook him. He want to be here, cook him. See that? Say goodbye to Kansas. Bye-bye. Say goodbye to Kansas. The great meeting is on. The great meeting is on, man. I needed, I needed that energy. I needed, I needed that, that energy that you just, that you just said whatever you said. Yeah. You want to be some, like a U.S. citizen. How you said, how you said you Moroccan, but you live in America and completely in violation of what Noble Drew Ali the Prophet wrote down, who said we are Moroccan descendants and born in America. But you saying we're trying to be American. Goofball. Do you see the literature that Noble Drew Ali wrote? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What 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 you say? Hold up. Hold up. What you what what you said? Oh what 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 did what did you say? Hold up. What did you say? Have you read the national mission statement? Written by the Prophet Nobu Ali, the proclamation of status and jurisdiction of the Moorish Americans. You don't see Nobu Ali talking about we Moroccans. You, you don't see him talking about we Indians. You don't see him talking about we Pan Africans. We colored. We black. You don't see the Prophet Nobu Ali talking about that. You see the proclamation of status and jurisdiction. That's why the first question I asked you was, "What's your nationality?" Uh, uh, Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look, this is what the prophet wrote. He said, the advent of we, the Moorish Americans, was divinely ordained forth into rightful existence in due time as a nation by the will of the great God and the ab at the abolishment of slavery as ratified by the United States Congressional 13th Amendment in 1865. This, this congressional manumission of the sons and daughters of Africa brought the light, brought to light a new nation of people upon the earth. This new nation of West African descendants has now come to lawfully link themselves again with the families of nations and to worship under their own vine and fig tree which have been the inherited birthrights of all men through the descendant nature of their ancient forefathers. Hold up, hold up. This, let me just put the nail in you. Let me just put the nail in you. This is the true and inalienable inheritance to every member of the human family and nation upon the earth. And the Moorish Americans are a part and parcel of the human family. Drill. Drill. Do you see Moroccans are part of the human family or are Moroccans descendants born in America, Moorish Americans? Put it together. Like I said, you was talking too fast. Your mind wasn't catching up to the words coming out your face. Huh? You weren't catching up to, your mind wasn't catching up to what your mouth was saying. You was running your mouth, but you weren't really listening to what you were saying. That's why I asked you, did you read the, did you read the one-on-ones? That's why I asked you that. Then I asked you what your nationality was. You said you Moroccan. So never mind the one-on-ones of the Prophet Noble Jali. You just going to come up with whatever you want to come up with. Then you're going to say, the state government gives me nationality. Where is that at? Hold up. Where, where's that at? Hold on, where, where's that? The state government gives me a nationality. Where, where's that? Where's, th where's that written down? I'm looking for that right now. Where, where's that? Where's that? Hold up, where? 
where is that? Is that is that is that in the prophecies and the hadiths of Noble Draw Lee? Did he write that? Did he, did he write it? Where'd you where'd you get that? Where, where did you get that? Huh? Hold up, wait, 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 hold up. Did, did you did you see that image somewhere? Hold up, where's that image? Is that here? Is that in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples? Is it there? Is it is it there? I don't see it there. I don't I, I see United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. That's why I see. That, that's that's what I see. I, I see that according to Article 6, every indigenous individual has the right to a nationality. I see it there. I see the image. I see it here. I see it backed up by what the prophet wrote when he told us to do what? What did he tell us to do? He said, you who doubt whether I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people, go to those that know law in a city hall and among the officials in your government and ask them under an intelligent tone and they will be glad to render you a favorable reply for they are glad to see me bring you out of darkness into the light you talking about look on your page what i need to look on your page for all you had to do was articulate what you was talking about i don't need to look at your damn page you could have told all of us right now what you talking about in real time you talking about look at your page what the fuck i need to look at your page for why don't you know what you're talking about? They cooked, terminated, say goodbye to Kansas. You talking about, look at your page. Why don't you know how to articulate what you're talking about on your page for in real time? Look at my page. I'm showing you the receipts though, in real time though. You talking about, look at your page. Look at my page. Look at your page. Why I need to look at your page for? Why you just can't articulate it? Why you can't? Why you can't say it? I mean, cause if it's truth, then it's gonna line up with the truth. I don't need to go look at your page to to for that. My page says the book says the receipts are on my page. Why didn't you remember the receipts that you're talking about? So you could have said them while you was on the beam out. You could have said all the receipts that you say on my page. Why didn't you say it when you was on here? Make it make sense. The state government confirms my nationality. Where? Where? What state? The state is your state of mind. <laughs> nah, this, the state is our state of mind. That's the state. The state government is our state of mind. Our mind is the government because we govern our mental. The state of government is the mind state. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. Like I said, I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you here. I'm glad you're here. I'm I'm glad you here. So I'm gonna let the other moors just cremate you in the chat. I'm gonna let them just barbecue you in the chat. I'm gonna let them have fun with you. Because according to the more science simple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws, ah, uh, I don't see anything you're talking about that's verified in any act written by the prophet Noble Jolie. What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Because according to the prophet Noble Jolie and the divine constitution, ah, uh, it doesn't say anything in here about uh, the state government grants me a nationality it says act six with us all members must proclaim their nationality do it say go to the state government uh see this ain't the one-on-ones keep up if you're gonna be here at least keep up man do your best to keep up if you're gonna be here do your best to keep up all right for real state of is a corporation so when you say state of, you're saying a corporation. Oh, the state government granted me a nationality. They gave it to me. Looking ass. What is you talking about? With us, all members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality 
and their divine creed that they may know that they are a part and parcel of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians. This is here. What are you talking about? What 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 are you talking about? Hold up. What, what, let's, let's go right here, man. Let's, let's go right here. Man, what are you talking about, man? This is why we got to go to the literature. We can't debate what I, what people, it says the Moorish American, again, hold up, 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 hold up. This is specifically for you. But for, for for you, since you're here and you saying I'm talking to 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 the to, to the to the guy who was on on the I brought you on the beam out. This is why I asked you: Did you read the one on ones and the one on twos? Did you read anything about that? Because if you said the prophet Noble Draw Ali is your prophet, and you said you read what his literature was for the redemption of our people, it says in Acts six. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Bing fucking bong. Bing fucking bong. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Like nothing you saying made no sense. Nothing. Nothing you saying made sense. Do you see the Prophet Noble Draw Ali wrote anything in here about Moroccan besides in the one-on-ones? This is the divine constitution and bylaws. What do you talk? Where do you see Moroccans at? The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites. Do we say the descendants of anything else? It says Moabites, whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. What are you talking about? What do you? What are you talking about? See, cognitive dissonance. Co cognitive dissonance. And, and here again, just to throw another drill at your head, it says in Act 5 of the Divine Constitution and Bylaws, you brought up our, the Constitution. Yeah. You said the Constitution. I'm talking about the treaty law and the Constitution. It said in the Divine Constitution and Bylaws, it says, Act 5, this organization of Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. So why are you on this beam out? I brought you on the camera and you want some trying to cause confusion. Why are you trying to do that? Huh? And clearly, this is not the one-on-ones. This is the divine constitution and bylaws of a prophet that you said you study his literature for the redemption of our people to uplift fallen humanity. These ain't my words. These no draw Lee words. What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? The, the state government. What are you talking about? What are you seeing anywhere in Noble Draw Lee literature? He said... Go to the state government to declare a nationality. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Man, you can't make this up, man. You cannot, you cannot make this up. This is why you got to study, 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 because there's people out here that are sending you clean off. You got to study, 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 man. You got to. You got to. You got to. You got to. You got hold up. Then, then you said you said you said Black's Law Dictionary for perdition. Did you say that? You you said you said Black's Law. You said Black's Law for perdition. Then then you say that. Okay. Then 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 you say that. Hold up. Then then you say Black's Law for perdition. Oh, did you you said that? Then you you say that. Can you say that? No, you look it up. You look it up. You tell no, you look it up. Because if you had the receipts when you was on here, you would have been talking them receipts. You would have had receipt talk. I'm talking and showing. 
You had time to show books. You had time to do that. You kept the camera on your face and you was talking like you didn't know what you was talking about. You could have showed it. I'm not finna do your work that you could have did on your own time. Fuck is you talking about? Show, show, show what I'm talking I'm not showing nothing you talking about because what you talking about, you ain't even got your status correct yet. You ain't got your nationality correct. So therefore, you outside the law. What are you talking about? You have plenty. You have ample opportunity to show anything you want to show. You kept talking about something that didn't even add up. You said uh, the state, the state government gives me a nationality. Where is that at? Where is that at? And then you say this right here. Look. This is why none you saying makes sense. Because all you got to do is look up this one word right here. All you got to do is look up this one word right here. Land. Watch this. Hey, land. Look at this. Land. Look at the word land on that thing. Peace. You say land, right? Watch. The, look at the definition. These ain't my words. This is the definition out of a Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition. Land, air, and water. All right. Land in the most general sense comprehends any ground, soil, or earth whatsoever. Pause. Any ground, soil, or earth whatsoever. So that's that's anything and everything. That's anything and everything on the entire planet. We on the planet, ain't we? We're on land. Ain't we on land? So that's any and every piece of land, soil, earth on the planet. On the planet. Right? On the planet. Let's go a little further in the definition. As fields, then they give examples. As fields, meadows, pastures, woods, moors, waters, marshes, furzes, and heat. Hold up. In its more limited sense, land denotes the quantity and character of the interest or a state. You was talking about state, right? So this is what land denotes. In a more limited sense. So when you talking about state, you you when you talking about state, you really gotta start reading more. And you gotta pick up dictionaries and stop going by what you feel. Because you are highly emotional. And when you say a state, that's the word right there. You like you scared to look up the word. There's the word a state right there. What are you talking about? A state. This is what limit this is what. Land is not limited. See, more limited sense? You're talking about land. You're talking about land and a state, which the tenant may own in land. Bing bong. Technically, land signifies everything which may be holding, and the term is defined as comprehending all things of a permanent and substantial nature. And even of an and unsubstantial, unsubstantial, provided they be permanent. What are you talking about, man? Man, listen, man. Listen, man. Images. Images, images, images. If you don't keep your mind in the books, they, somebody is seeing you clean off. Clean off. What do you think the word of state is? Estate deals with land, birthrights, inheritance. You come, you don't claim a proper nationality. You claim a misnomer. Guess what? You claim an estate government. Look at this. Oh no. Hold on. See, this is exactly why it might be a part. It might be a grand finale. This is exactly why it might be a grand finale. This is exactly why it might be a grand finale. Because the Prophet Noble Jali left instructions right here in the back of the book of the Holy Quran, Circle 7. 
<laughs> Yo, listen, man. The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation of North America need to learn to love instead of hate. And know and to know of this of his of this higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for the teaching and instructing of all Moorish Americans, etc. Huh? What are you talking about? So what what are you what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The Asiatic nation of North America. See? You talking about go to my page? I got receipts on my page. Why come you didn't vocalize the receipts that you say on on your page? How come you didn't vocalize those receipts in real time? Why somebody got to go on your page for you to vocalize? It don't work like that. It don't work like that. What are you, what are you talking about? And then, and then, since you had all that ample opportunity. And since you had all that ample opportunity, what, what did the prophet know what Jolie say? He said, the industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa, these are the Moabites, Hamathites, Canaanites, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. In the later years, they form themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called this day Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, etc. Bing fucking bong. Kingdoms are not the empire. And the empire is not the kingdom. Kingdoms are in the empire, not the other way around. This is why we are Moorish Americans. We are Moroccan descendants and born in America. Genius. Genius. Images. Images. All you got to do is just get this image right here. Just get this image right here. Just get this image right here and keep cooking from it. Get this image right here. Get this image right here and keep cooking. So we got to start doing it. Moors is in the definition. Hey man, you you you've been on this beam out, and I've just been letting the studied up Moors just barbecue you up in here. I'm talking about just eat to you, and, and you're still here, naturalized. <laughs> yeah, yo, you said naturalized, naturalized. So you just want to be entertainment. You just want to. You just want to be the entertainment, huh? You want to be the entertainment, okay? You want to keep the mac. You want to keep the. You want to keep the laser beam on you, okay? We just keep the laser beam on you. You said. You said naturalized. Where did you see anywhere Noble Joe Ali was talking about naturalized? What? What? Where? Where? Where'd you get that? Where? Where'd you get that? Where, where'd you? Where'd you find that? Where'd you find Noble Joe Ali <laughs> saying that? And then you say this right here, man. Naturalize the Naturalization Act. You said natural. You said you said naturalized. You said naturalized. Naturalized citizen is one who, being an alien by birth, has received citizenship under the laws of the state or nation. Hold up, you need some highlighter. You just want to be the pinata. Okay. You just want to be the you just want to be the digital pinata. All right. Matter of fact. Matter of, matter of fact, hold up. This 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 this, this, this for you. Since you want to be the digital pinata. This this going to be you. You finna get stained in here. You going to be the digital pinata. How you talk to him more? You said what? You said no need to be naturalized. No need to be on oh God. Are you gonna be naturalized? What are you talking about? You 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 cooking your own self. Now you hear that you hear that horn right there? Listen. Listen, you hear that horn right there? Can you hear that horn? That's the sound of you getting eaten. 
You get you getting ether, but you don't even know it though. Listen, it's coming. Listen. Can can you hear that? Can can you hear that? Huh? Can 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 you hear that? That's the sound of you getting cooked in here. Because if you go right here, if you go right here, naturalized citizen, what is to naturalize? To confer citizenship upon an alien. So you're trying to say that we're not Aboriginal indigenous people? According to your logic, you saying that we're not, we're aliens here. We're, you're saying uh, with your illogic, you're saying that we're aliens. So we were, so you're going by the slave, you're going by the slave narrative. You saying that we was brought here so we will be aliens here. But how can we be aliens here when we're naturally from here? Dating back to millions of years. And then I'll show you a book reference called the Montauk Book of the Dead. And in the Montauk Book of the Dead, it lays it out flat. It lays it out. It lays it out flat. That the founding of this country, America was called Al Modi Khan because it was a part of the Moroccan Empire, known as a Mexum. Hmm. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. And this is why you need to stop because you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. You have, you're in a crisis right now. You're in a crisis. Crisis is a noun and is an unchanged Moorish Latin word, meaning the turning point in a disease. Turn that rack shit on. It's a turning point to a disease, man. Toward life or death. Crisis also means an emergency. You're in a crisis. If you think, <laughs> yeah. turn me up, man. Turn me up, man. Turn me up. Turn me up, man. You said that we were naturalized. Where in Noble Lee's literature do you see we naturalized? Where? It don't exist. What are you talking about, man? It's a the very life and culture of the branded and labeled people suppressed by the European Occupational Union State Society is in a crisis. And you see the definition of naturalized and naturalized citizen. A naturalized citizen is an alien by birth, receive citizenship under the laws of the state or nation. So you saying, according to you, according to you, you're in a crisis. Because if you look up the definition, if you look up the definition, hold up, hold up. Let me just, let me just drill another hole in you. If you look up the definition of more, what is more again from the book? These ain't my words. Scott Forsman's Advanced Dictionary. Huh? Scott Forsman's Advanced Dictionary. Can, can you see that? Let me get a clear for you. It says more. Noun. Member of a Muslim people of mixed Arab and Berber ancestry. Hold up. This is where it get real juicy at. Living in Northwestern Africa. Living in Northwestern Africa. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't that definition of more, you're talking about images. Don't that definition of more living in Northwest Africa, doesn't that directly line up to what the Prophet Noble Dr. Ali wrote right here? Don't, don't that directly line up to what Noble Dr. Ali wrote? The industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest 
Northwest and Southwest Africa. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doesn't that line up directly to what the prophet Noah Jali said when he said Northwest and Southwest Africa, where it says more living chiefly in Northwestern Africa? Don't that line up to what the prophet was talking about? Ah, let me let me throw some ink on that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, uh. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm glad you pop. I'm glad you pop that that trash so the so the studied up moors could fry you in here. I mean, because it it says it right there. It it says it it says it right there. It says it right there. Northwest and Southwest Africa. It, it says it literally right here in definitions. This is cross-referencing. You should try it. The, 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 the dude, buddy them that was on that, that was on that. I'm, I'm, I'm Moroccan. Yeah. So more means living in Northwestern Africa. See, that's what, that's what more means. But when you go right here to the Prophet Noble Jali's literature, and he says Northwest and Southwest Africa, it's directly together. That's why Noble Jali told us to study, study, study. You keep talking about the UN. The UN! You keep talking... Hold up. You said you said the UN? <laughs> you said the UN, right? The UN is a corporation. But the UN corporation even coincides with the prophet Noble Jali. See, this is why you got to study, 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 man. This is why you got to study, study, study. The UN is a corporation, but the UN corporation, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Matter of fact, get your ass on, man. Get your ass on. Get your ass on. You block. Get your ass on, man. Get your ass out of here. The UN corporation, what do they say in the UN Corporation? They say what? Article 15? Everyone has the right to a nationality? No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his or her nationality? Nor denied the right to change his, his or her nationality? Motherfucker going here talking about the UN. Goof ass. The UN is a corporation. But even the UN deals with nationality. And as we see together in real time, Noble Drew Ali knew exactly what he was talking about because everything he wrote lines right up to what the definitions in the books is. More living chiefly in Northwestern Africa. Go right over here to page number three. The industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa. Right there. What are you talking about? Moabites, Hamathites, Canaanites. What is he? What are you talking about? He says these kingdoms are called this day Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, etc. Here's we have the Tripoli. Here's we. Here's we have these things. This is where we have these things. Images. Images. I hope y'all got something from this beam. It was entertaining though. It definitely was entertaining. Dude got on. Dude got on the beam. I, I let him get on here. He got. He he was talking. He wasn't making no sense at all. Fam, this dude said. I asked him what his nationality was. He said he's Moroccan. That's already a violation. Because we're Moroccan descendants and born in America. He's already in violation of the one hundred and one. That's why the noble Drew Ali said the one hundred and ones. Study, study, study. Moors are Moorish Americans are Moroccans and Moroccan descendants and born in America. That's why we're Moorish Americans. That's exactly why Noble Drali wrote it how he wrote it. This is is exact. It's right and exact. It's right and exact. Right here, one hundred ones and one hundred twos. Is right and exact. Why? What is your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? 
because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. Moorish Americans. That's why. No, he wasn't right on shit. No, he wasn't right on shit. Nothing he was talking about. On nothing. When you say what your nationality is and you say Moroccan, Moroccan, no. No. You in the Americas. You in the Americas. So when you say you're Moroccan, you in the Americas. Uh, the Americas is known as Al Modi Khan. So the Americas is Morocco. But when you say Moorish American, you're lining yourself up with your ancestors as Moorish people who, re who live in the Americas as a geographic location. Noble Drew Ali wins again because Noble Drew Ali laid it out right and exact. This is why he said we're Moorish American. Descendants, Mor Moroccan descendants, and born in America. All of these lands are American lands. All of these lands. This is why we're more rich. Like I said, man, I think I'm gonna do a grand finale. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do a grand finale to build off of this right here, because this is. It's a lot of confusion, and you've seen that it said in Act 6 and Act 5 that we're not to cause confusion. And what Buddy was trying to do was trying to cause confusion by saying his nationality was Moroccan. It's not his nationality. Your nationality is Moorish American. You're from the Americas. Because if we go into the book, we go into the book, we go into the dictionary, right? Go to the dictionary and then you see what does Moorish mean? Moorish is an adjective which means of the Moors. That's more rich. You say, who's enforcing this though? If I claim my nationality, it has to be enforced. The only forcer right now is oppressor. Okay. That's a good question. You said, who's, in, who's enforcing this though? The people. The people have to enforce it. The people have to enforce it. When you say, if, see, this is the thing. This is why I might do a grand finale. When you say, dude, dude on there that was talking, he said the state government gives a nationality. Completely in violation. Can't nobody give you a nationality. You got to proclaim your nationality. Our nationality comes from our mothers. The great cosmic mother. This is who our nationality comes from. Get this book right here. The great cosmic mother. Dive deep into that. Nobody gives us a nationality. Our nationality is derived from our mama. That's nationality. Nationhood starts with the woman. The NATO is like cosmology. When you're talking about the NATO chart, how to navigate, the L starts with woman. Con ah, consanguinity. Yes. Consanguinity. The DNA, the bloodline, the birthrights, the inheritance, they come from our mamas. This is why they want to discredit the woman and have out here destroy with the destroyed image. That's why they're doing so much to destroy the Moorish woman's image, the Moorish man's image. They want our image to be destroyed. So it didn't look like he, they, y'all ain't on nothing. Y'all just twerking. Y'all just pulling up. Y'all smoking all the time. Y'all drinking all the time. Y'all splurging all the time on stuff that you don't need. That's the images that TV study pump out for us. That's the images. Make them look crazy. Make them look like they want to twerk all day. Make them look like they don't care about nothing. Make them make them look like on news that they're killing each other.
That's what they want images to look like. You know what I'm saying? We derive our nationality from our mama. Real life. Ah, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Ah, it just flies too fast. The good news is, I appreciate y'all tuning in on this beam. I appreciate y'all being here. It's the good news. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. That's the good news. And I love building with y'all. The bad news is, my phone is finna die. Ah. My phone finna die, G. Ah. My phone finna die. Damn. Phone finna die, G. Dang. Phone finna die, fam. You know what's crazy, though? What's crazy, though, is, is I was thinking about this right here. When, when dude was talking, this is what I was thinking about. Look. This is what I was thinking about. Back there with me. I said, What? <laughs> My dad was like, All right, all right, all right. Hey, you gonna learn today. Uh, no. <laughs> that's all I was thinking about when, dude, when, when Buddy was talking that other shit. That's all I was thinking about. I'm like, What? What are you talking about, man? What are you, what are you saying? Here with me. I said, What? Huh? <laughs> this is all I was thinking about. Everybody was doing it. This is shit that pissed me off. He said, your dad was back there with me. I said, what? <laughs> My dad was like, all right, all right, all right. Hey, you going to learn today? Uh, no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> Everybody on here was like, no, the fuck I'm not finna learn from this motherfucker. No, the fuck I'm not, Harlem, Islam. Not finna learn from Buddy. I don't know what Buddy was on. Ain't none of us in here learned nothing from what he was talking about. Nothing. But what he say? This all I was thinking about. Here with me. I said, what? <laughs> My dad was like, all right, all right, all right. Hey, you gonna learn today? Uh, no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> you gonna keep that lesson to yourself. You gonna keep that lesson to yourself. <laughs> ah, man. Hey, man. Yeah, he ain't had no books, no literature, no nothing. He's talking about go to my page. Just go to my page. I can I have receipts on my page. Goof ass. Get your goof ass out of here. Go to your page for what? For nothing. Get up out of here, man. Hey, I hope y'all got something from this beam out there. I'm finna move around. All right. Run the beam out back. Run. <laughs> Run the beam out back, G. Run the beam out back, man. You know what I'm saying? Just just run it back, fam. Run it, run it back. Do what you do what you gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, what up? I don't even know what I joined. It. What is that? Ah, okay. Okay. That's how we kicked it off. That's how we finna. That's how we finna go out. That's how we finna go out. That's how we finna go out with it. Yeah, I, hey, y'all was in there. Y'all was in there cooking, buddy ass. Frying his ass. That's what I'm talking about, though. They come, they they on that top, they on that typing crazy. <laughs> Just barbecue their ass. Ain't no hesitation. Nah. Nah. Ain't none of that. That shit did. Somebody on that typing crazy. Just barbecue their ass. Let me show y'all these books before I get up out of here though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Might do a grand finale to this. You know what I'm saying, Scott Force. Let me show y'all these books before I get up out of here. Let's go. Gratitude, boy. Circle seven. Huh? Yes, sir. We ain't even get into this. Cosmos of the soul. Universal Declaration of Human Rights. 
Let's go. Isonomy. You got a book on the dark ages? Yes, I do. You want to read something about the so-called dark ages? Get this right here. Get this right here, Imani. This one right here. This book right here, fire. Huh? Right here. Get a screenshot. Get a screenshot. Damn on these motherfuckers. Sam. Uh, for sure, for sure, it's long. It's long. Egyptian Book of the Dead. Sam, yes, sir. All right, boys. Much love. Real shit. Much love. Appreciate all y'all tuning in. All right, the book. Hidden in Plain Sight is available online right now. Throw it up in your Amazon cart. Right now, it's available. Throw it in your cart. Download it. And then you can see what it's all about, fam. I'm talking about straight ether. From the beginning to the end. Beginning to end. Fire. All right? So I'm going to holler at y'all more on the next one. We definitely gonna do a grand finale. Turn your notifications on. Keep them on. Leave them on. Appreciate y'all. Much love. I self law and master. Study, study, study. Teach the babies, fam. Teach the babies. Because the babies is up now. Not next. They up now. All right? I self law and master. Peace, Morris. Uba. Barbados. Morocco, Jamaica, and all you other Moors out there. It's our time now. Claim your title. Claim your status. It's our time right now. All right? Our time. Our time. Let's go.